Let's talk more about this issue, bringing in ophthalmologist Festus Oshoba. Welcome to TVC News, uh, Doctor. So, about the sensitive nature of the eyes, what's your perspective? Well, um, the eyes are very important and they are very sensitive. Uh, in fact, from the input that goes into the body that helps us to perform, the eye constitutes more than 70% of the neuronal input into the brain because we use the eyes for so many things. So for the eye to see, light needs to pass through the front of the eye, uh, through the pupil to the back of the eye, and then the message is transmitted through the nerve to the brain for the brain. interpretation. So in this process, so many things can go wrong and that can lead to visual employment or blindness. The you, right. Yes. You said so many things can go wrong now. Yes. Uh, so, and from what we have known so far, many of these things that could go wrong are preventable. So, what more than eighty percent are preventable? Wow. So, what are these correct, corrective measures we need to uh, learn in caring for the eyes? Uh, the first is we started with children. So let's start with children. Absolutely. So for children, they need vitamin A for the eye to see and to develop. When they don't have vitamin A at birth, the cornea, the front of the eye can melt and it can lead to blindness. So what is vitamin A? Vitamin A is a vitamin that is uh, present in green leafy vegetables, in yellow fruits, in palm oil, and many of the food we take and children take is also fortified with vitamin A. Vitamin A is very important for vision, so whether you are a child growing adult, or everybody needs to have vitamin A for their eyes to function well and see well. So the first thing we are talking about is nutrition. So let us ensure you have nutrition that is rich in vitamin A and that can prevent blindness. We have uh, certain areas in the country where residents are particularly disadvantaged. I know you've commented just before we started the interview about those in the north. What are the options? Yes, where people prefer granite oil, Granite oil does not have vitamin A, but palm oil has vitamin A. So we should encourage people to take more of palm oil, and where you are in a place where you don't have much of palm oil, then take green leafy vegetables, take a, a yellow fruits, a egg, milk, they contain vitamin A, and they can help to prevent blindness. So, so when you are faced with situations of glaucoma, cataract, you know, and the likes, where analysts, experts like yourself have said, uh, Africa seems to uh, suffer a bit more than those elsewhere. When you are faced with that scenario now, what can you do? Okay, thank you for that question. First of all, what is cataract? We, a cataract is the clouding of the lens inside the eye. And I can simply de de define it. You, you've seen an egg before. Uh, when you have not boiled the egg, inside is liquid. Once uh, you boil it, it becomes hardened. So when our eyes is exposed to light, especially ultraviolet uh, light from the sun, it tends to enter the eye and cook the lens of the eye, and it becomes whitish, just like the egg. So when you look inside the eye, you see something whitish there, preventing light from entering the back of the eye and preventing the uh, person from seeing. So how can we prevent that? Use uh, glasses rich in ultraviolet uh, light. And uh, it has been found out that people who live uh, where we have a lot of sunshine, they have more of cataracts and tends to develop between the age of 40 and 60. Whereas those who live in temperate countries, they actually have it from age 60 and above. So sunshine and sun rays are related to having cataracts. So, but the most important factor in fact, cataract is actually aging. All of us, have we, as we age, if we live long enough, we all develop cataracts, whether or not you're exposed to the sun. So it's part of the changes taking place in the lens of the yeah. eye that causes that. The other leading cause is diabetes and injuries. All right. Dr. Festus Oshoba, I'm afraid we've run out of time. Thank you very much for your contributions, Dr. Festus Oshoba. Thank you.